I got a new cassette recorder today. I paid four dollars and ninety-nine cents for this telephone cassette recorder by Radio Shack TCR two hundred. Automatically records phone conversations and speech is detected. I don't know where that works. I haven't connected to a telephone yet. Um, optional beep tone for every 15 seconds reminds all parties if a conversation is being recorded. I don't know how to turn that off yet. Um, dual speed recording allows to fit more messages on a single tape. That works. It's funny because on this little tiny recorder, which I think is really kind of cool because it's really small and neat. And just just tripod. Zoom back out a little. So it's not so blurry. It has all these different things. One touch record, which you push record down and it'll push all of them down. Play, rewind, fast forward with Q, stop, eject, stop, press it, stop. When it stopped, it's ejected. Yeah, ejects it. And a pause control, which is mechanical. It's got a tape counter, which is located right here. A little VU level recording light and an internal condenser microphone. And then there's a badge here that says TCR 200 voice activated telephone cassette recorder. It has automatic stop, which I know works. Uh, cat number 43473. It's got sensitivity setting on the back, which is right there. Canadian. It uses four double A batteries if you want to use it as a portable cassette recorder. And it has a plug in for the wall, of course, because it's one of those 24 7 kind of things. So I'm just going to plug it in, even though it's got. Actually, no, I'll leave it off because it's got lots of time. So I'm just going to use the tripod again. It does have a little tiny speaker, which is right here. It's mounted right there. So, I'm going to put a tape in. I'm going to show the um, audio playback quality of it. Eject. Quality is pretty nice, actually. I believe it's AC BIOS. You can see the little LED flashing. Light. It feels really nice and solidly built. All the buttons, they just all seem to click just right. It's like one of the last, best, oldest, te like newest tape recorders you can get. They've made them for a while, supposedly. I haven't seen, I uh, know they discontinued them. But if you want to have a decent new recorder, if you can figure out how to turn off the beeping, it's pretty nice. The sound recording quality is pretty good, actually. It's like when they stopped improving, that's just like the borderline of when they stopped improving. Um, um, I would try using this tape, but it's my favorite white one, but it doesn't work for some reason in this machine. I'm going to use this one, I think. And this has an extended play mode. It's really funny if you record in the extended play and then you play it back in standard. There's a weird motor slowing down switch in there. It doesn't turn it off for like playback only in recording. When you go fast forward, it slows down fast forward and rewind as well. I'm just going to put that in. Reset the tape counter. The belts are pretty good in this as well. One touch recording. See, I've only got my thumb on the record button. Okay, I'm recording on the thing. This is the Radio Shack um, TC TCR200 voice activated telephone cassette recorder. It has automatic level control, and I'm, and I'm assuming due to the very good quality of voice recording and stuff notice I'm holding um, this, get this thing up higher um, I'm assuming it's AC bias it's very very nice and solidly built and it's actually quite nice it has plugs in the back for uh, an external microphone which I'm going to plug in right now I'm recording on the standard play so I'm going to slow it down to extended play recording on extended play if I leave it in standard play I'll end up sounding like Alvin and the Chipmunks I'll demonstrate that too
Okay, I'm back in um, I'm, I'm back in center play using the external microphone. This thing doesn't really record a lot of motor noise when it's in the in the condenser microphone, though, so it's good quality condenser microphone. Uh, let's see how this comes out. Then let's switch it over to extended play first. Extended play, and I just the Vox. Mo you can see what Vox mode does. There's a bunch of switches on the back, mind you. Um, there's the headphone jack there and the volume control on the side. Got plug in for six volt DC. Anyway. I'm hoping the beep doesn't go off every 15 seconds like it says, because it's starting to get annoying. Anyway, let's see how this comes out on this not very nice set recorder. The remote thing doesn't really do anything. No, nope, remote doesn't do anything. Let's see how this comes out. Okay. I'm happy with this thing, actually. Okay, it went up to 50. Standard, standard play. Okay, I'm recording on the thing. This is the Radio Shack um, voice pickup. Very right nice. TCR 200 voice activated telephone cassette recorder. It has automatic level control, and I'm, and I'm assuming, due to the very good quality of voice recording and stuff, there's some holding on. Let's get this thing up higher. Um, I'm assuming it's AC buys. It's very, very nice and solidly built. And it's actually quite nice. It has plugs in the back for uh, an external microphone, which I'm going to plug in right now. I'm recording on the standard play, so I'm going to slow it down to extended play. Listen to this. Recording on extended play. How is it extended play? Oh, I'm extended right now, but I'm going to check my phone. Let me Standard play now. So you play it standard mode on extended play. Microphone. This thing doesn't really record a lot of motor noise when it's in the microphone. The Vox thing got stuck. The sound quality is really bad once it drops. Into extended play, unless you're using the external and the internal microphone. That weird long beep noise was a malfunction somewhere. I'm not sure. It, uh, it, it's never done that before. I think it's from when I set it to the no, from to the Vox mode. I think normal mode puts it out of the beeping noise every 15 seconds. Oops. Very nice. Other than that, um, the, if it's got AC bias, it's kind of hissy. So I'm going to take it apart and see whether it has an AC bias coil. I'm going to demonstrate that now. But it's a very nice cassette recorder. If you're going to get one like this, I'd go for one of these. It's really nice. It's probably very cheap. And I paid about $5 for mine. So, it's good. Very good pickup level. But, nice modern recorder. I'm glad I bought it. Hope you enjoyed the presentation.